when the uh, learners are in the learn to swim pool, uh, that's the time when we try and find out which strokes they're uh, inclined to be better at, and where you know the breaststrokers so they may have dorsiflexion of the ankles, and uh, freestylers may have a certain attributes, and and uh, to cut a long story short, the the uh, butterflies, uh, if they have that flexibility of shoulders and the affinity for the water, we sort of try and group them off into uh, into classes in the in the big pool when they first go in. And uh, when they go into that into those classes, the first thing we have to do is to teach them relaxation, flow, and and uh, general. You'll feel no, no tension in the water, so we use fins on them for, uh, all the time in, the, in their initial stages. And uh, we teach them first of all to push off the wall with their palm on top of the back of the hand and uh, go out underwater. Uh, so however far the teacher wants, just learning how to do the fly kick correctly. They keep on doing that and then <clears throat> if they show that they're getting that immediately or after a couple of lessons we start to teach them to rotate in the full 90 degrees like a rotisserie turns and uh, the main thing is we're trying to get them not to fight the water. You know, the, 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 my philosophy is, which I'll go into in greater depth later, is that <clears throat> Fish do not have arms and legs, and they get all their strength from core body. And uh, we're going to go into that later in depth, but it relates. It starts here because I believe all all the power in swimming comes from the rib cage down to the knees and in core body strength. So we teach them with fins on all the time. They do back, stra back uh, fly kicks, all, everything's fly. Out there they use kickboards all the time. We get them to go to the 25 once they've got the correct fly kick. Never use, never kick without boards, because if you kick without boards, uh, you know, it's compensation either way. And you, you don't get any core body strength from the start. And core body strength, in my opinion, is the key to fast international swimming. So those guys, they start on that. And once they go, we keep repetition. We're not in a hurry with them. And uh, they don't progress until they've done that particular, those particular drills perfectly. Then we start, start them with one hand fly. Only one hand where they have to start it at the beside the hand beside the hip with the palms up and they just move it around very low over the water and put it on with a thumb there. And then we teach them just to, to move it out and bend it under the teacher does that and brush their hips as they go and they keep on doing that one arm, one arm, one arm all the time. So that we, we you know if if you if you try and go two arms their breathing becomes disjointed <coughs> and they fall into the old trap of coming out with the palms facing downwards toward the water. Once you do that, you're finished. You know, you, you know their flexibility is inhibited straight away and they can't swim fly. The whole thing about them when they're learning is relaxation and getting underwater. Then we try and get them out further underwater. And those, those drills keep on going and going and going. And as they progress, then they, can, they start their two arms. And uh, th those things are pretty basic, but what I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to impart is that we start teaching them relaxation and timing and kicking correctly right from the start. And uh, what we want to do with our teachers, as I, as I was saying uh, to a coach just recently, uh, I had my 70th birthday on in 1999, so I had to be a bit more take a bit more care with my swim program because I didn't think that I was going to get rushed with people bringing their 14 year old talented swimmers to me when they started doing their figures and said now how old will this guy be in 2012 you know and will I be still in the chair or out in the marble orchard so I've got to I have to produce swimmers within my program so I had to I had to make sure that my learn to swim coaches and early early uh, development coaches were not supervising the programs, they were teaching. There are so many people that think they are development coaches, they write up the drills on the board and uh, they explain how they're going to do them and the rest of it, which usually takes 10 to 15 minutes, and then they retire to the side of the pool and supervise it. You cannot do that cannot do that with young learners. You have to, you have to teach 
from the start of the class to the finish of the class. You have to teach and you have to, you have, to have the ability to teach uh, to the fastest swimmer first without ignoring you know, it's it's just a, it's just an art of te good teaching, and that's one of the big things we look at in that area. I don't hurry them out of their of their. We have the half past three. There are three three different grades in our half past three uh, squads, and th they go on and on until they can swim 50 metres with the fins on. They don't take the fins off with perfect technique. That means breathing doubles, hands low over the water. No excessive bend of the knee, you know, on the big kick, because that's where I'm going to talk about core cool body strength, uh, which I've developed over the over the period. With those, when they get, when they do that, then they can uh, they can do freestyle. We do start them off on freestyle fifties, freestyle fifties. Now, I can talk to you about developing endurance, you know, at a later time. I'm not too interested in endurance with young kids. What I'm interested in is them swimming 50 metres with the correct stroke. Kicking uh, is also a valuable component at that age. At that age. Uh, we, we, we give them kick, 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 kick all the time and sometimes we may give them kick on their side without the board, 25 right side, 25 left side, <clears throat> but that's the only time we don't use a kick in and they get a certain amount of endurance when they get up to there. But, uh, and <clears throat> then of course when they, when they can do that, uh, we take them out to the 15 metre mark where they have to go in and uh, swim the last four strokes into the wall butterfly and go out butterfly under the water holding their palms and hands in the correct position. In other words, we're teaching them how to turn. Uh, I won't go into the basics of turns. Everyone knows what the basic of turns, but they go and they keep on repeating those <coughs> until they do them correctly. I think a, a lot of people make the mistake, uh, especially swim parents, of trying to rush them. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, I can give you an example of, uh, Say if I said to you, I'll give you $100 in two weeks or $20 now, 90% uh, of the people take the $20 now because they, they want immediate gratification, they want immediate results. Well, they have to stay there. And, uh, you know, a, a, a coach, a swimming coach, if, you, if, if I have, uh, say, 10 butterflies, you know, prospective butterflies come into my program, well, if I got one out of that, that would be a huge average that has not only can do it, but has the ability to do it. And, you know, I have to look as, as a coach, I have to look at my program to be successful has to produce certain swimmers. Everyone can do that, do uh, improve, they can do their best. Some, that best is only going to get them into uh, small meets and carnivals, but as long as they enjoy it. But why you have to, at all the time, have mind on the people that come from the, the right program, the right home, and have the right ability, they have the right parents. And, you know, you have to try and develop those people, whether it's butterfly or whether it's freestyle. But, you know, coaches do have a, have a career path, <coughs> which, uh, you know, may be obscure to some organisations, you know, but coaches do have a career path and we pay particular attention. I'm not in any hurry to get the kids up to endurance.